You're practically throbbing. Oh my god. Throbbing dust and debris, that is. Oh my goodness, Mew! This is no good. No good at all. Oh you my god. Must feel so pent up. He's a robot, Mew! How's he gonna embody? My name is Jesse Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Bang and Rampa V3 Killing Harmony. So, every execution or punishment has been sad, but Mama Damn going over there and killing his siblings is making me laugh too much. Like he's he's just out here killing everybody. He has his own killing game. <laughs> so before I dive on that, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girlfriend, she's getting into looking stuff, and let's begin. What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. Oh my you can God. clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what? what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. <laughs> He's like, this, this is, is real. live, unedited footage. <laughs> this is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. Oh my We've God. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. Oh, the wow. government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Hmm. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Oh, ooh. Transfers, transfer student from beyond the grave. What? We got zombies now? It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. Oh, are we finally going to be able to see what's in there? And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Oh my God. Come on, man. What the heck is this? Mm. It's like weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Look, she gave off killer vibes. I was saying, you know, vampire a lot. Because she does look like one. But, like, she's the ultimate assassin. I knew, I knew she couldn't take care of children. Looking like that. Maki's the ultimate assassin? Is that all right? Kokichi, you learned that from the motive video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's a true identity because he had her motive video. And because you mm -hmm. saw that, huh? I knew the whole time. Given my position, I obviously know before any of you, right? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. I mean, she was about to kill you right then and there. <laughs> Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now, but that's not your style. You'd rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? But why ever did she lie about the ultimate child caregiver? Because assassins hide to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Mm. But then why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to I'm do so. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's How heart. Rude. Please take back what you said. I can to understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. <laughs> please give me data, please. Right? He's like, I wanna learn. <laughs> if you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise you she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? Do Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> The talent of a killer, that is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey. Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Oh, but he's like, I don't wanna do that. Got it. <laughs> How hell too, I don't want nothing killing Wait. to happen. Wait, you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill sneak us. Attack. A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does, hit her from behind. Okay, y'all, if she hasn't killed you by now, after two whole, class trials, I'm pretty sure she's not trying to kill you guys. Maybe she doesn't even like her talent. Maybe that's why she tried to lie about it. I don't know. I'm thinking that she doesn't like it. Um. Sneak attack, strike before she does? Shouldn't Akito Master be saying that? It'll things? be okay. If that's the case, then Atua and I will work with everyone to uphold the that's peace. Fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my oh, mouth. No. Wow, that kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. <laughs> she's trying to... <laughs> Try and guess, guess, uh, here we go up. <laughs> Hold on, guys, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> the ultimate assassin, my ass, always messing huh? around. Kaito, don't do anything okay. stupid. Okay, let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try huh? to help. Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, what? Well. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a, a factor here. Monokuma, everyone get behind Gonta. Kimiko, get behind me. <laughs> I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. <laughs> 
She said, hold on to me. <laughs> if you're scared, hold on. <laughs> I just said, I don't need your usual reaction. It's almost halftime, so the stat should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Another motive, right? I said, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. We don't care. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming? That's strange. Look, there's a random damage, okay? The numbers are dwindling, okay? Monodam is taking them out. Rise and shine, Ursine. They're finally here. You're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Seriously? Just wow, you guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? The shock of my super cute kids seem to be making me go bald. Like in Oh my god. He's actually bald. Gross. I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry, I want to go somewhere warm. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. <laughs> we will not let you use this anymore. <laughs> huh? From now on, I will be calling the shots, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> huh? Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you've become predictable. It's the age of the monocubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? What? But what about all the longtime fans who? Anyway, you're just a has been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tail? Has been? Wonderful. Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. <laughs> Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I can forgive such? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they beat him up? Oh, they got an exosaur. Oh! Ooh. Did you forget, Father? <laughs> Only we can pilot the Exosols. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. How did you forget that? Thank you, Father. But the Academy is under our harmonious control now. <laughs> they said it is enough. <laughs> Step aside, Father. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. Are you saying you're treating you kids like my property was wrong? Yeah. No wonder you wouldn't know. You know why? Because you're a bad dad. Okay. And they finally see it. I'm glad they opened up their eyes. Okay. You are dead. You're the worst of the it's worst. It's completely and utterly wrong. No, no, no. No way. Oh, oh, oh. he's bald again. <laughs> it seems the shock made him bald. This time for good. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. <laughs> A wonderful prize. <laughs> um, let's see what the prize is this time. <laughs> You call this bastard. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Is the is the ma okay? The ninja scroll seems like a no to Naruto. Magic hammer. Well, the gold hammer. What is that a no to? I don't know. And then the magic key. Some game. Oh wait, the magic key could probably be used for that door, that digital door that we saw. Okay, okay. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Mm -mm. I mean, bravo, bravo. Nope. Look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. He's like, for your sake, <laughs> I hope we all get along before I take out your ass if you don't want to cooperate. <laughs> I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man, we didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway, and his name is Kibo. Didn't I say he got one more time? Didn't I say he got one more time? Hold on, hold on. All right, now I done told your ass. All right, let's see. Four, there we go. Four, key, is it an I? Bow, okay. Co, key, chi. There we go. There we go. Nice and updated for my man Kibo. Added him number 19. All right. Now that we got that done. Because I said I said it last time here one more time. Now he on the list. Now he made it. Now he made it for keep coming for Kibo. God. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this pride to explore the new areas together. <laughs> Also, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained some of your memories. Hmm. So long. I wonder what, maybe it's gonna show us more of the hunt. I don't know. 
Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it, I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. Okay, did something happen with Kokichi and like robots? Cause it seems like he's very robophobic. Like I don't I don't know where it's coming from. Like where is it stemming from? Did one betray him? I don't know. I'll commit that to my I've reported your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so, so what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but yay, a new area means we can all have lots more fun. Uh, I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school okay. secret. If that's the case, then we'll deal with the murder girl later. Listen up. Hey bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? What do you mean? To me. Uh, okay. Okay. Got Gonta it. Protect you. Okay. If you find a dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect uh, you. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, just leave him here. <laughs> right. We're like, just leave his ass. We don't care about him. I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. But can we look around this room? Okay. Let's look at him. Okay. He's. I'm not gonna bother him. All right, so, so yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Wait, I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she would be someone terrifying assassin. <laughs> to, huh, please, to me she does. Terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Hmm, all right, um, hmm. Okay, so we have a assassin cloak, a lot of weapons over here. There are a lot of different weapons here. Maki knows how to handle all of these. Okay, so there's a lot of weapons. What the hell is that? Okay, what is this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? I mean, I'm assuming no, considering that there's all these weapons out here in the open. And look at that, she has guns. Ugh. Yeah, I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft well. guns. No, of course, Monokuma wouldn't give us real weapons. Yes, the souls might be strong, but if we were to evolve with real guns, Monokuma would never allow that. Hmm. If these weapons were real, and if Kirimi were here, she might have taken us all out in the order to escape. For her people. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? That's kind of concerning, actually. Jesus. Was this her, like, assassin cloak? That's kind of cool, though. All right, let's leave. Let's look at all the other um, places that we have to look at. Okay, isn't there something right here? Isn't the door here? Yup, yup. Let's look at this large door. Let's use that key. Oh, a hallway, okay. The door collapsed, it looks like we can get to the back now. What, I wonder, is beyond here? Perhaps someone awaits huh? us, you think? A merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jest. <laughs> a world full of jest, I suppose that's true. Hmm. So there's another set of stairs. A staircase, we can get to the fourth floor now. Uh... I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gonta will protect you no Thank matter you. what. Thanks, Gonta, that's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would sit um, you. Hmm, tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but mask well. too? I should go. <laughs> He's like, let me leave y'all, all right? Let's go upstairs and see what's going on. Maybe it's their, the other students, like, labs, because we didn't Ugh. see them. Oh, the frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing uh, it. Um, what is going on? Oh my. What, y'all? What is it? Actually. So, um, this is a made up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place stop here. It. Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I'll be able to go to the bathroom um. alone. Okay, but she say a made up story, so that means it's okay, right? So, so long. Is it really made up? What if she's lying? What if she's lying and it's not made up? Okay, there's nothing behind me. Oh, God. Oh, God. What, what happened up here? What happened up here? Hold on, can I go in here, the left room? Let's go in here. This is, this is very, um, oh. Oh! Ah! I just saw the ghost of, uh, <laughs> oh my God, a Monosuke. <laughs> Candles just barely lit a dim, dusty room. Hmm. This is creepy, hard to see too. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. Maybe a ghost? Maybe. What the hell? Is there anything to investigate in here? Okay, there's a, okay, let's look at the floor. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh this floorboard got no nails huh? in it. Ah, oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross That's true. 
I suppose it's not just my imagination, but each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Going to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Hmm. And in a the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Huh. There's a hole in the floor in the, in the back. What the hell? Okay. The candles on the walls are the only lit, huh? only light in the room, sorry. There are no windows here. It get pitch black if candles right. go out. Ah, please don't turn them out. I really don't like yeah. the dark. I can't imagine many people do. I mean, I don't either. Every, everybody has like that moment, like when you're alone in your bedroom and everything in the dark seems scarier, like that big pile of clothes on your, on your chair is now a monster. <laughs> and you don't wanna leave your closet open. <laughs> Oh, this is not only empty room. You see three same looking doors in the hall, right? All those empty rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light too. So there are three of them. Anyway, we know gotta worry. No reason we'd ever need to use empty room like right. this. True. Um, then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown yeah. in. But there are no windows though. I don't have any reason to waste in an empty room. Let's go. Okay, let's get out of here. Hmm. I'ma keep I'ma keep that information for for the future. I'ma keep the information for the future. Even though they did say the other ones are like it, I would rather check inside them too. Just to see. Ah! Oh, and there goes one of Kuma's ghosts! <laughs> I see, this is exactly like the other room. There's nothing else in there. Okay, so we saw Monokuma's ghost in this one, Monosuke's ghost in the other one. So I'm assuming that Mata Kid is in this one, because he's dead too. <laughs> yeah, there goes Mata Kid. <laughs> okay, so all the ghosts have their own little room, got it. And what is this? Is that just a, oh, that's just a picture. This is a false place to go? Okay, that's a false wall, maybe, I don't know. It made me think there was a room there. All right, is this a classroom? What is this? It must be an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. Oh, is this Tenko's maybe? I saw the little like dojo thing. Oh, oh no, it's not. Oh, it's him. It's almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them are very rare. Hmm. It would appear this is my lab, the ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. <laughs> I like him, but who brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Of course, he would be. His lab will be up here in the creepy part of the school. Like, come on, let's look around your place. What? Oh, wait, wait. Is that the same? Hold on. Is that the same uh, sword that was in Trigger Happy Havoc in in my bedroom, the main character's bedroom? It's a golden katana, how beautiful. It's rusted in places, but looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. You were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. That said, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals and wars are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I wanna look and see. No, don't let him touch it. And Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. Oh God. <laughs> Wait, you mustn't touch okay. it without, don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Yes. Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Mm. Now this katana is a real deal. It's even gold plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder Hold weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly or I will tear up. Ooh, ooh, Please he said that. that for himself. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into his sheath and handed it back Whoa. to Kyo. Ew, my hands are all sticky. The gold plate, plating flakes off so easily. See, look, I think that's the same one. It gotta be the same one from the first game. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Dear. Yes, it's very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. Tear out if you do nerves. so again, I will tear out your nerves. I get it, the scary threats really are necessary. So that's what Keo sounds like when he gets angry. Hmm, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, what's this? 
and there's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Mm. This one looks like it was bound by Ken. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Keo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from his showcase. Incredible. It is. How amazing. It's actually real. Um, what is the book, uh, Keo? It is an extremely be? precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled Cage Dog Village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Cage Dog Village? The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this Wonderful. book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One-of-a-kind? That is valuable. Yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay hands, lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. I just started laughing because of his laugh, the little <laughs> I love the Windex bottle. Uh, um, Keo, what did you mean by reputation? The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However, They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire cage dog village. But it seems those were mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. He's like, leave him alone, okay? Um, what is this? Let's see that. Hmm. There's a large wooden dog statue on a pedestal. It looks very old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking could at it. Be? That? Oh, what is incredible. it? Incredible. Oh, can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Keo quivering with excitement and reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, hmm. Can there. This be? There's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um, perfect for what? What are the statue and cage for? Is this from the cage? Dog village, is that from that? I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. So that must be from the cage dog village. So I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this letter, okay? Listen. By the way, Shuichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? I'm sorry, what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. One of all of them, the one I find most interesting, is a seance called the Cage yes. Child. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before you me. See. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the Cage Child, shall no. we? No, thank you. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the most utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, no. yes? Ah, uh, yes, but talking to the dead? Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Hell no. Uh-uh, they're dead and they're up there relaxing. They don't gotta converse with me. I don't need to know what's going on in the underworld, okay? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead? If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to hear her name one more time. Oh, you want to hear her one more time? Oh, I don't think that Kaede will be the same. I don't, I don't, I don't know. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blast. Forgive me. One must call on myself. them only at the appropriate time. If I felt a shiver up my spine, it's like, when do we talk to them then? Okay, uh, okay, there's a back door, and that's the door to the hallway where I just came from. Let's go through there. Now we are on the other side, and that's where I saw them. Is there anything else around here? Oh, this is looking, oh, this is looking worse. What the hell? What the, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus? Okay, there are three heads chopped off. Five, five heads chopped off. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, what the hell? What the hell is this? What is that? What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Oh, I don't, I don't like this, y'all. I don't like being on this side of the school. This is not good for me. Okay, so that has art. So, okay, let's go here. It's the door for the ultimate lab. From the look of it, I say it's for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Ooh. Hmm. Huh? It's locked. Hmm. 
Oh boy. Yep, seems like it. I guess we can't go in. But why is it locked? The other Ultimate Labs weren't locked. Oh, oh by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked uh, too. Um. If both the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret tech. Oh, oh. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Who's in there? Oh, okay, this is her room. Okay, can I help you? Angie, you were in here? I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How old is she? Come in, come in, please come in. <laughs> Ever polite, Angie invited us to the lab anyway. What were you doing in there, Angie? Why was it locked? Huh? Why was it locked? Oh my God! Oh, I thought that was blood. Okay, okay. <laughs> There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist lab. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has Atua spoken. Had spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Huh? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. What? 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 I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful life. Ah. Wait a second. We said I was going to answer that question. No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaur? You promise, because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth, and rattle your molars around. Ugh! Oh, that's unsanitary. Wait, wait, Monodam, we weren't fighting. <laughs> we were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. <laughs> he said, because you don't want that smoke. <laughs> So, what's up with the key? Actually, oh yes, Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be the one with the great Atua. Yeah. Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Mm. Wow, like a porn star. No, they're they're pretty comfortable around people. <laughs> How is that the okay. opposite? So any room where I'm gonna make art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised Monica did yeah. that. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um, um what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. <laughs> Calm down, I'm even worse. We know everything about you bastards. <laughs> we want to be your friends. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Oh, he said, why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Go, you know what, Monodam, go do it. Go get Kokichi. Go off him off so we can get this game done with and over faster. Please do it, please get him. Now, now, Monodam, we haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose okay. it. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Hmm. So then. Let me see that key. Monodam swiped the key from Mono for me, then lifted it to his mouth. Um, nom. Oh, 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 he ate it. Nom, nom. Ah. What? He swallowed it. Beep. Oh, he's flatlining. Uh -oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely Beep. choke on it. Someone might use the key for murder. <laughs> because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it will be too late. <laughs> I want everyone to get along. <laughs> Monodam, you're so reckless. So. Let's carry Monodam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So okay, long. so the one key is gone, and we know that. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh. But I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm inside working, so I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Uh. Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way. By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specifically made for us? But, Monokuma has claimed that before, but is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? It's a miraculous sure. mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Huh. Well, now I know that if some kill does happen and the door is locked, that means that she's in there. Now, if it's unlocked, then somebody could have just came in there and done whatever. So, I know that now. All right, so let's see. Let's look at the lump of wax. Hmm. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Mm -hmm. Wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, yeah, Angie? Yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but Atua is the one who's gonna be doing the sculpting. Okay. I see. Bye. But it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made of wax. 
a wax death mask. That's kind of scary. It's not scary to her. She's like, this is all normal, okay? Um, so we see the door. What about this one? Let's look at the back door. Um, this door isn't the one we used to come in. This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on there. If I remember correctly. Oh, uh, right. The door that we used. Yeah. That was the door that had a knob and a cylinder lock. Mm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. It's Miley and Fury. No, no. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. Mm -hmm. But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. Hmm. I can't stay long. I haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. So he's like, let's get on out of here and leave Angie alone, okay? <laughs> oh, there are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. <laughs> ah, really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's no. mad. No, I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? What? Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're what feeling. Changing expressions is a pain. <laughs> That's the only reason you don't do it? She's that lazy she can't change her face? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute, maybe the scroll goes here. To the, aha, aha, we got it. Oh, it goes in his mouth. I thought it went in his hands. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is this Tenko's place? Is this finally Tenko's place? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> a building? What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow. It's not just any building, it's a dojo. So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right. Like I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or train as long as they made me good food. I feel it, I feel that. Is that really the same? All right, let's go. Let's see what she got over here. Let's get it Move Move out my way. It must be an ultimate research lab from the look of the building. Okay. It's the ultimate Aikido master's lab. I'm sure of it. Well. All right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, yes. Himiko. <laughs> so what a pain. <laughs> Pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. All right, let's go and see. Oh, hers are kind of cool though. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The talk to me mats are new. They smell nice. Huh, let's look at that. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood? Wait, is it at all? Is it that is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? Hmm. Let's go ahead and talk to Tango. Damn I'm so excited. See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why are you angry? Wow. I'm so happy I just can't contain my emotions like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Kimiko. That's amazing! Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring here will be incredible. But, but without a sparring partner. Oh, oh! Uh, yeah. Well, I just volunteered, I guess. Uh, oh. What was that for? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you throwing Listen me? Listen up! Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Kimiko, aim for the heart. You're going to start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding? Why did we go straight into actual fighting? You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Oh, now we're getting serious. Now we're getting psychological. Okay. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You lack mm -hmm. self-esteem. Because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question right. yourself. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell my sparring partner is burdened by uh, doubt. Okay. You might be right. Listen up. You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Keto. Because the Keto itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Go. So how about you, Mimiko? Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Keto, then we'll be able to solve things by force. By force? I thought this was about being pure of heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a, a drag. Oh, she said, I'll flip your ass too. <laughs> She said, I'll get you too, Himiko, all right? Mm -hmm. I see, it seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste, you have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now, come sweat with me, and afterward, we'll hit the showers mm -hmm. together. My back, <laughs> I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Oh, you're angry, I can see it in your heart. Okay. Even I can see that. She's like, did you not just flip me, girl? <laughs> the talk to me mats are new. They smell nice. Hmm. Okay, so those are new. The balance pole, huh? Is this a pillar? Why is there a pillar here? There's a scaffold suspended in the air with chains. 
Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. My back hurts. If you do that again, I'll definitely turn you into a gross frog. But right now, I have to use all my magic to fix my back. <laughs> okay, let me just leave out of here, all right? <laughs> it's just funny that she flipped. Here we go. <laughs> huh? What's that over there? What? What is that? <laughs> huh? Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. Oh. No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. Oh, no. Don't tell me that Mew is ready to work her magic on Kibo. It's like she's trying to install a new part, maybe. <laughs> I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. We can take this relationship to the next level, please. But Mew, we shouldn't. It'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. <laughs> she wants to and she wants to work on him. Pulling on Kibo's arm, Mew made her way to the Ultimate Adventures uh, Lab. Um, uh, what was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on, just in case. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and save him from Mew. I'm trying to invent on him. <laughs> Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. What? Oh, oh, Miss, Miss Man. Man. You're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Oh my God. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Oh my goodness, me. This is no good, no good at all. Oh you my God. Must feel so burnt up. He's a robot, you! Okay, I my apologize. goodness! I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Oh, it seems like Kibo is with it, okay? Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me, you'll feel much better afterwards. Oh my god, Mew, stop taking advantage of him! <laughs> oh, um, thank you? Oh, He's like, yeah, oh, right? your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. <laughs> Your oh my body god. Is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. I bet she's inspecting him. She's inspecting his body. But go ahead, Kibo. <laughs> go ahead, Kibo. Be gentle. That tickles. Go this get it, Kibo. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh my god. I feel all tingly. Don't tell me that she can have an orgasm right on top you of this You definitely know what you're doing, too. <laughs> if you keep this up, I just might bust. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch mm. that spot. Good to go. Oh my god. How long are they gonna keep this up? I closed the door without a word. <laughs> It's like, I'm just gonna leave them alone. Mew was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was, indeed. Nothing but that. <laughs> I look, you wanna go back in there just to see, but I'm gonna just leave it alone. <laughs> oh, Matakuma. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing here? Uh, he's dead, he's dead, look. Matakuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um. I suppose he wants me to follow him? What could be down there? Um, where are we going, Monokuma? Where, where are we going? Where are we going, huh? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Monokuma? <laughs> What's up? Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me in a picture on the wall. I was looking at that, too. What is that? What is this picture? Hmm? I see. It's not a canvas. It's a pane of glass. Perhaps. Maybe I should use that item I haven't used yet All on right. this. All right, it's worth a try. Okay, so why did they let me do this when I was already in front of it? When I was already trying to inspect what this shit was? All right, all right, gang. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Oh, oh. I was not expecting the hammer to be used on this at all. Huh. I knew it. And just as I thought, there's a hidden passageway here. Monica was still not saying anything. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to, but this really did help us out. Huh. The passageway looked different than the haunted house. More like a factory. Mm. This is eerie in a different way. Hmm. Let's go in here and see what the hell is going on. Is this supposed to be Kibo's room, maybe? Maybe this is Kibo's factory room. I don't know. <laughs> it's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this be? Is this where the Mana Cubs were made? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> You bastards. If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. <laughs> Excellent teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Shuichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. <laughs> I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. 
we'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? <laughs> you talking about Monokuma? <laughs> yes, we should explain this room. So this is a computer room. Computer room. Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is like super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, new world. You can use it to create a new world. Wait, we're supposed to be telling him that? I've already forgotten the plan. You totally said way too Sorry. much. I knew it. You're so forgetful, Montaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monophony? <laughs> Then you're supposed to help his ass. <laughs> when you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? Your friends, right? Why didn't you help him? <laughs> um, well, if you can't get along, you will be punished. <laughs> you two, Monotaro, friends share everything, even punishment. Wait, black backfire? <laughs> so long, farewell. He's like, I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> this machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. Hmm. So, look at it. What is it? There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What's that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. Hmm. What is it? Oh, oh! Oh, there goes the flashback light. A treasure chest. I open the chest eagerly and... Okay, I found one, a flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is while we're here. Huh. So am I gonna use it alone? No, because Kishi is here. What? You found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable, despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. How about I change your face up, huh? How about I connect my fist to yours? Let's see how good it changes. Let's see how it changes up, huh? How about that? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. Where are you coming from? Where's your lab? He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. This man is everywhere but his lap. Where, like, where's your shit? Where's your shit at? I would like to see it. Really? Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback okay. light? Yes, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kuichi, Kokichi wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked, <laughs> appalled. <laughs> See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Uh, Maki's not here either. Uh, oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Oh, uh, you didn't invite her. Hey. Forget about that killer. Hey, Mew, key boy. Did you guys see the computer room on the fourth huh? floor? Computer room, you say. Go hey. on. You, Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about My it, apologies. right? apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. Huh? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. He's like, just because I'm a robot doesn't mean that I know about computers, you racist. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent well, exactly? Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh, yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, but I do say so myself. Don't worry. Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no do talent. Not mock I just me. told you, I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Mm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> But I'm not gonna come up just for some computer. It's gonna take way more uh, than that. Um, well, the Monica's just say it was amazing. Hey, thanks for waiting. Oh, Kaito, hey. Oh, and he brought Maki. Oh. Uh, Kaito and, oh, Maki, I feel I feel bad that they're all ostracizing you right now. Like, I'm pretty sure that if you wanted to kill us, you would've done it by now. So I don't know why they keep separating you. I don't know. Huh? Maki, why is Maki of with course. you? Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? Thank you, Kaito, for being the only voice of reason here. Thank you for being fair. Sheesh. <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? I'm leaving. See, look, look, y'all don't need to treat her like this. Y'all don't need to do that. This is probably why she lied and said that she was a child caregiver because if she said, came into the room and said, hey guys, I'm the ultimate assassin, nobody's gonna wanna be around her. They're gonna think that she's gonna kill everyone. Man, Maki, I feel you. I feel you, girl. I, they treat you wrong. Man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before By she could leave. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask Got or whatever? It. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um, mm. Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you really killed anyone before? Okay. Has she? Yes. 
see? Really? Gotcha. Why? How, why you hide that? Because of the way that y'all are treating her. What you mean? Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you would react this way. See? See, we here, Maki. I knew that they were... I knew it. I knew you hid it because they thought that you were going to kill them. I know. I know, girl. I'm here. What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn to hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... That's the point. Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always. Mm. Hmm. You've lived a pretty sad life, Maki. That's so mean. Oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, he's lying. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is it that? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she, she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to... Hey, can you let go of me now? Oh. <laughs> Kaito finally let go of her arm and Maki let it's out a okay. sigh. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. <laughs> Kaito? <laughs> huh? Are you talking about me? No. However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you unless one of you tries to kill me first. Then that's just self-defense, Maki. I hear you. That's just self-defense. If somebody tries to kill you first, you do what you gotta do. I'm not even mad at you, okay? <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then? So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Aw, Maki. Hmm. It started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so oh, dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? You bitch. You know what? <laughs> Whatever. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you, right, guys? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say Tell that, but thoughts. shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light. Everyone. Yes. yes, so we've all decided what we're here to do, right? Make attack. Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new, mm -hmm. like the true purpose of the ultimate no. hunt. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with hey. why. Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? Right. Yeah, go to worry, but we gotta but, do it. But... but no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come if on. If you think like uh -oh. that, we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be me. I know that, and we can't go around repeating we ourselves. Must do it. Then let's give it a try. Should we should go for it? Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me and I flicked on the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, let's see what happens. The world warped. Hmm. I like this little animation that they do. I love this. Hmm. Let's see, let the truth flow through you. <laughs> My consciousness went white and somewhere in that whiteness a scene played. Hmm. Oh! They were so young and talented. How could this happen? Wait, before when we saw this, it was just Kaede's picture. Now it's everybody's picture. What is going on? It looked like an accident. Hmm. They were running away from that group. Was hmm. it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. It has all of us dead. Just all of us. Yeah, what was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why? Why was I at my own funeral? What? what? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? It would appear we all remember the same the thing. Fuck's going but on? what the fuck does it mean? Right. Why was I watching your guys' funeral? I don't and know. Why was I there too? I don't know, girl. This is getting very creepy to me. I don't know. Why? What the hell is going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing no else. No way. Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Geez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. Are we dead? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. There's a there's a possibility. I'm not sure because it's this this part is making me think back to Kirimi's, uh punishment because she was trying to get out. Right? She was trying to get out, and then there was a fake painting of the outside, so it showed like she really couldn't escape. And then we're trapped in like this cage, showing that we can't escape either. And then Gonta saying that he doesn't remember these stars or there's no stars there or something like that. So it's making me think that we are somewhere else. What if we are really dead? What if we are in perjury? And, and it's even worse that if we're dead, we're dying twice. What, what the hell is going on? I don't know. My mind is just going crazy right now. 
I mean, there's no way that that was a memory of our funeral. Then, then what was it? I mean, it was probably a memory of our school festival or what? something. School That's festival? Right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, it is, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Mm -hmm. If that's true, um, but aren't we from all different high schools? Why would we have a school festival well, together? That's, that's well, we probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistake in that. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Going to think everyone was already Don't dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Cause you got a heart on every time you see me. <laughs> You should have been asking that Kibo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? What? Is it? Is it true? Y'all let me know. <laughs> hey, stay in your lane, bitch. <laughs> I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. Hmm. I'm disappointed. Aw, oh, man. What a disappointment. Huh? A disappointment? It's true. The flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Talk about a disappointment. Uh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about huh? you guys. What? It's a lie. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. Like, just shut up. Just shut up. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral that we saw, it can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in a dining hall and returned to our rooms. I'm trying to figure out if we're really dead or not. <laughs> like, they might not be joking. <laughs> I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help. But... I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left for today. Maybe I'll head out and clear my head. All right, let's go spend some time with some people. The inner tube isn't here. Did Monokuma put it away? Huh, I wonder. Maybe. Maybe they reset it, but I know I haven't spent time with Kokichi, even though I don't like his ass. Let me go ahead and talk to him. I'm so disappointed in Kaito. Why does he care so much about Killer Girl? Oh, maybe he's trying to suck up to Maki so she doesn't kill him. Uh, should I hang out with him? I guess so, since I'm trying to be fair and hang out with everybody okay. I can. Oh, okay. Then let's think of ways to protect ourselves from Killer Girl. Okay, I'm not calling her Killer Girl, okay? Her name is Maki. All right, we go a little closer. Let's give him a present. Now, it did say that he liked carbonated drinks. So maybe I should give him a soda. Maybe? Give him that. Let's see. I guess this isn't that boring. You have pretty good taste, Shuichi. Well, not as good as mine. I'll surprise you with a gift one of these days, Shuichi. Oh, please. He's not gonna give me nothing. He ain't gonna give me shit. Okay? Shuichi. So you wanna talk to me, huh? You must be pretty reckless, Shuichi. I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know? Because. So you say. But does that really mean anything? And what is this organization that you uh -huh. run? Huh? Didn't I tell you? I'm the supreme leader of a secret evil organization. Mm. Yes, you've said that, but not what it is. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, too. It has over 10,000 members. But... You said that as well, but I can't think of any organization that fits that description. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm also a liar, too, okay. you know? Yes, you've mentioned it. It's true. But I'm telling the truth when I say I'm the supreme leader of a secret or evil organization. I get dizzy talking to Kokichi. I feel like I forget how words work. My organization controls the entire world, but of course it's behind the scenes. All of the world's mafia syndicates are under my command. Oh, man. They'll get into turf wars so I don't control them, and that's just trouble for everyone. It's a pain, especially since peace is the best thing for the world. I don't think I can believe the words of the leader of an evil organization. Ah. Oh yeah, which is why I do the same thing with the government too. I control politicians with blackmail, I manipulate the stock market on a whim, I have subordinates all over the world, the White House, Kremlin, Beijing, Wall Street, London, and even the Tokyo Stock Exchange. You know? I make one phone call and the world changes. Let me know if you get bored with the world. Um, it gotta be a lie, but, huh. How did you rise to the top then? Um, me, huh. me, me. Well, I killed my parents and inherited the organization. Huh? What? You it's killed? A lie. Don't worry, I'm lying. I know you are. I don't take you as a killer. I don't think you would kill your parents. You don't have the balls to do it. I don't okay. think so. It's true. I only killed my older huh? brother. What? <laughs> I'm lying about that too. How I rose in power is top secret. I'd have competition if you copied me. So now that you know about it, Shumichi, you must die. Wait. Wait. You told me. I didn't even you ask. You got me. Yeah. Oopsie poopsie. I'm such a dip. Then I'll let you live for now since I messed up. But I'll kill you eventually. Uh, Are um, you serious? Yeah. yeah, for realsies. I hate lies and jokes. Just kidding. I lied again. 
Yo, he's annoying. Oh my god, yo. This is why he's on the list, yo. This is why. No, no, him coming for Kibo is why. That's why. I return to my room, mind and body exhausted. Why am I so tired from just talking? He said he would kill me. He's just lying, right? I think so. I don't take him seriously. Hmm. Oh? Is it nighttime now? Maybe? should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Huh? But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. Uh, I don't know if we're that close. Oh my god, I love how he's just beating up everybody. Nighttime, I have training with Kaito. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're gonna do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go out to the courtyard. Huh? Okay, let's go. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then suddenly, oh, there he is. Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Oh, is he bringing Maki? Huh? Her? Maki? Yay, let's go. Huh? Maki, why is oh Maki God, here? No. That's what I like to know. <laughs> Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the Idiot. way here. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, what? right? Training, the three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This is stupid, I'm going huh. back. Huh, you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up, when a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be like super dog, cat or horse, by my side to help me be the hero. So are you saying be all your sidekicks? Uh, like what? Um, of all the examples you could have picked, right already. did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to this stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going hold back. Up. Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was a hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. <laughs> She's like, whatever. <laughs> hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so hey, difficult? So... How long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Oh, your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. Hmm. So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Hmm. I mean... You're not the terrifying person that others think you are. You're just a coward. Oh. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, Come you've been on. running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Hmm. Maki's getting angry. Kaito's just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing ultimate assassin. I don't think that she's going to kill him. I don't think that she's going to kill him. I think that she's going to actually use this anger and train, actually. Hey! So what are you going to do? Kaito. Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay. Fine, I'll do huh? it. Huh? You'll do then... it. Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh, huh so you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. Like, <laughs> that's the reason why I don't argue with people either. It's like, I don't like to argue, okay? Especially if I feel like it's useless. So I would let the other person continue talking and I'll just be like, okay. All right. Okay, until they finish. Like, just let them let them keep going, okay? Just let them think that they won, all right? <laughs> what? You don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever, you just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Mm -hmm. Well, what are we doing all first? Right. All right, first 100 push-ups. Oh? Somehow Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Hmm. Okay, them two. <laughs> <laughs> Shuichi's still weak. <laughs> Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. <laughs> I love hey, this. Kaido, no slacking today, yeah? Oh. I'm counting your reps. Oh. I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push ups. Okay. I you... thought we were doing 100. Hey, All right. What about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so. I don't think so. 92. 93. <laughs> Go ahead, Maki, you show him, girl. What? That fast? Yes, she's like, I've been doing this, okay? You guys need to catch up. Thank you. Satisfied? 100, I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? 
You're not even out of breath. I guess you trained before, <sighs> huh? Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... Before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit, Kaito. <laughs> Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with. Hey. Anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back Got to the it. room. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be there. Aw. I think she might come. I think she might come. Jeez, why she gotta be so um, difficult? Hey, Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Hmm, if someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave uh, them. Um, weak and suffering? Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Uh, no, your your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Okay. Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got no. here. Nice try, Kaito. Get on the ground and do them push-ups, okay? Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Like this. <laughs> huh, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. <sighs> Kaito bringing Maki. He is really crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Hmm. Kaito, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. All right, now it's the morning. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. Oh, is that please assemble in the gym? Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Mata Dam, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along That's right. thing. Friends is the only show he watches I now. If you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the episodes to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. <laughs> That's so gory. Please get along, everyone. <laughs> she puked again. It's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monica needs blue puke will have good luck. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, I better get along or I'll kill your ass. <laughs> Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. So what's going on? It's the same way when we went to the library after Rantaro's class trial. All clean. Hmm. Aw, Ryoma. Like, nothing ever happened. Ah. Oh man, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh. oh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What do you ah. think? Yeah, I only just started working on it so I don't know the full specs, but ah. that thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. <laughs> Are you jealous? Please stop. Of course not, I would never be jealous of a computer. A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain oh. possible. Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? You know what? Kokichi. If you know what's good for you, you better stop telling the assassin that she shouldn't be allowed near y'all before she makes you disappear. Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna you're gonna push a button one day and she's gonna actually kill you, maybe. And I wouldn't be mad. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never but... talk to her. Maybe everyone will prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's enough! You better cut no, it out. No, He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy mm. life. It's just like yeah. Angie said. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Why is everybody... I don't like this. I don't like this. Stop teaming up everyone. on Everyone. Everyone is serious. No. Oh, no. The colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't no. it? No, not that. Gonto went to the courtyard before coming here and... Oh? Oh, oh what happened? Thanks for bearing with us. What do y'all want? Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? We're the ones who called them out? Don't you get that too? Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. <laughs> so it is a motive after all. It doesn't matter what the motive is, we're not to the killing game anymore. That's right. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything Indeed. anymore because we have a Tua. <laughs> What? Actually, but it's no ordinary motive. This motive would inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before. If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. <laughs> now, for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. <laughs> oh, we are sent it together. Oh, this time, the motive is a transfer student. Yeah, who's coming? A new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. Oh. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. Excuse and welcome me? them back to the academy as a transfer student. Excuse me? Well... How? How are they able to? What? A transfer are you serious? student? We can resurrect someone? So. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in a necromon necronomicon. <laughs> 
But performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one to six right. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill him again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. Hmm. The motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, sorry, old habits hey. and such. Monodam, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, That's you know? Monophony, you're nice. <laughs> but there's more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. <laughs> That's why I'll have you punish Monotaro. What, me? Please, no, not Monophony. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, what? So, so long. Farewell. So, when this class trial happens, are we going to see Monophony kill Monotaro next? We are all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations, but what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. Transfer student resurrecting the dead. Don't screw around. Don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh, who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. <laughs> this belief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See? They are similar, yes? The act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Through rumors and legends, that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual? Huh. So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? What are you saying? There is no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls will be resurrected. Uh. That seems confusing, but I know if we ask this conversation, we'll just go on forever. Okay. If not, even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the right. dead. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it you either. Think? Hmm, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> this kooky bitch is finally talking. <laughs> But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit no. cult. No, wait, let's hear what Angie has right. to say. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay. Can I say it? Okay, I'm gonna say it. Cause what Atua desires, cause that's what Atua desires. <laughs> I can't follow this conversation at all. So we bring him back zombies. Is that what you're saying? Um, so you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh, um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to what us. What are you talking about? What do you because... mean? You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like they were never a dead body to begin with, so maybe the truth is... they were never dead to begin with. Huh? They weren't no. dead. No, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies but, ourselves. But... but it might have been a very accurate imitation. No. An imitation? Monokuma and exosols are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yo, what is going on? What What is going on? Because, like, we saw Ryoma get eaten. Or was that fake? Like, I don't, I don't know. This game has me questioning so many things. I don't know what's going on anymore. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly mm. agree. I've always supported <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Yay, thank you, everyone. Wait. Wait, no, wait a minute. I saw them on my own eyes. Male. Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Shuichi. You don't want the dead to be That's alive? That's true. I do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much but. we want that. Oh, wait. If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard? What? The court? What is that in the courtyard, Gota? Uh, um, Gonta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, no. right? Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On way here, Gonta see writing in the courtyard. Hmm, did it change? Hey! And it had more writing this time. Huh? More writing? Um, Gonta no could understand the writing, mean. But maybe, right. maybe a message from dead says the what? Because at first it said horse A. Now it says the, the war as ni ima. <laughs> Maybe everyone leave message for us that say, hey, we alive. Hmm. I don't know what it says. I can't guess that. Huh? A message for everyone who died. Because no one here write it, did they? So everyone else must have write it, Rest right? In peace. Are you saying a dead person hiding in a school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? <laughs> How 
How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon off the sure. floor. Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yeah. right? But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to you. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this uh -oh. time. Hmm, it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. Tell you're a savior to those four people. Huh? <laughs> huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wide smile and what's she doing? Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Aw. <laughs> you work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. She's so motherly. <laughs> Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? Aww. I know this because Atua is always watching you. It seems like if she were to be like a mom, she would be like the sweetest mother ever. Okay, she's like, it's okay. Atua has you. Don't worry about your worries. <laughs> I will forever protect you along with Atua. <laughs> always watching Gonta. Don't mm. worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Oh Atua my is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas oh my god. Are nice. <laughs> See, it's so motherly. <laughs> huh? Gentle grandmother. I thought you said Atua was a handsome no. man. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's Whoa. looking. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient oh. at all. Oh yeah, why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were part of the student council, mm. Gonta. You will use your power for the peace of the academy. Yeah. <laughs> you see how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. You need Gonta? Got it. Go, uh, Gonta join the student council Wait. too. Wait. Wait, before all of that, what exactly is the student council? Is that why you've been acting yes. weird? Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing You're right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Sumi. Yes. And we arrived to a conclusion. Hmm. Oh, wow. This oh, is no. the Ultimate Academy Student Council with Angie Yonaga as our president. Lord. Lord. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do anything but Ultimate laugh at this. Academy Student Council? We've Why? all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free Ultimate Academy. Oh, good luck with that, y'all. Good luck with that. You got huh? it. A student council and Angie is yes. the president? Yes, there would be no harmony between us if we keep saying in different things. <sighs> Oh, shut up! Hey. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's called the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> but since Angie can speak with Atua, she's the only one worthy of leading the council. So basically, Angie is leading y'all. Because since she's the only one that can speak to him and hear him, she's controlling what goes on. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to follow Angie too. <laughs> Thanks everyone, Atua is happy too. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, they've totally been brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we even realize. However, but it makes sense if you think about it. This place is all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of a death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. That's true. And people are brought in to cults when they feel weak. You know, they feel lost. And then that's when the cult headmaster, I don't know what they call the cult, the cult person. I don't know. The cult leader is the one that brings them in that way. Hmm. I see. So she's using the situation to take over the school to make us dependent on the school. Please, wait! Using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for the school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, go to not let anyone talk bad about student council. Why you? Council. Why am I saying council? Council. You literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed but. idiot. But I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the student huh? council. Why? Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? That's right, that's right. Now what we're talking, what were we talking about again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait. Less burdensome? Mm. That's a relief. If it's Atua's decision, then it's definitely the right yeah. one. Yeah, there's no way Atua would be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, Atua is always yeah. right. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. It'll be fine as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> I doubt they listen to anything we have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help help too, Kaito. Kaito's like, what's wrong with him? He's been quite quiet this whole time. Hmm, what is wrong with Kaito? 
In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. Lord, my tongue getting all tied up from reading so much. <laughs> Transfer students, reviving the dead, a Tua student council. So many heavy conversations no. this morning. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. It has to be something I can do. I have to find something. So now let's go ahead and spend some time with somebody I have not spent time with yet. All right, let's talk to Corey Kia because I haven't talked to him yet. Listen. Seances often bring the dead into the living. In Japan, it's known as kuchiyose or channeling. You've heard of spirit mediums before, yes? Female psychics hold spirits within them. Should I hang out with him? Yes, I should. I like his creepy ass. Well then, I shall tell you all the time I met a spirit medium. Hmm. I like him. <laughs> I listen to Keo talk endlessly about seances. Seances, however you say it, man. Keo and I grew a little closer, but I'd like to give him a gift, definitely. Okay, let's see what would be good for him. Maybe this, I don't know. He might like that. Maybe. Wonderful. This is a fine gift. It almost makes me sorry to be the one receiving so it. I would like to at least tell you some stories in return. Which one, though? Is that um, all right? Kia, what's the difference between anthropology, history, and archaeology? <laughs> they are often confused, so your question is reasonable. To that question, they are different. Maybe a possible Let's answer. See. History is records. Archaeology is buildings and relics. Anthropology is folklore and customs. History studies events and changes in countries or regions across time. Archaeology traces the course of humanity through physical remains. Anthropology is a study that examines the thought behind traditions and customs. Uh, um, I kind of understand, but I kind of anthropology don't. If you think of humanity at the core of anthropology, it should be clear. From people come feelings. Those feelings intersect and become tradition. At least that's my stance on the matter. Mm, the feelings yes. intersect. Yes, customs and folk tales only occur in places where people can share Sorry. them. I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with such is things. That so? Is that so? But you encounter anthropology on a daily basis. For example, occult stories on the internet have their roots in folklore. Someone on a journey committing a taboo in a mountain village, for You're example. Right. That's true, I hear that often. Various is... mythologies are frequently referenced in anime, manga, and games. A character's background can be viewed through an anthropological lens. Tools and houses in the background, jobs, speech, clothing, or food. With the proper knowledge, even such things can help you understand a work more deeply. Without it, such clues go to waste. Mm. That's fascinating. That knowledge would be very useful. It seems I've piqued your curiosity. Let us talk more. Well then, what image does the word Kappa call? Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. I think I know this. Hold on. Um. Oh. Uh. That? That's... A monster with a plate I on his see. head? Yes. I thought you would say that. Listen. It's, it, it is anthropologically impossible for our mental images of a cap and a huh? match. Impossible. Yes. Originally, monsters had no form, for they were based on people's emotions. That image of a kappa is a culmination of many different people's thoughts. An ancient fear was changed over many years into a creature we can identify. Culture is constantly changing. Anthropology chases those changes. Thus, I must keep the present in mind while I learn about past customs. Tell me your thoughts. So, is it unexpectedly deep? You're yes. Right. Yeah, profound. <laughs> okay, he's so interesting. I don't know. He's just so interesting to me. I learned all about anthropology and then returned to my room. We're going to have to do another free time event. I know we are. <laughs> it's still time. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. All right, who do we not spend time? All right, let's talk to Mew. Cause I don't have a hope fragment or what friendship fragment, whatever from her. <laughs> I don't give two squirts of piss about the student council. It's got nothing to do with me. If those turns want to roll downhill together, that's fine by me. Should I uh, hang out with her even though it might not be safe to ask? Yes. What was that? Huh? Get your diarrhea looking face out of here. Oh. Oh, am I not, am I spending time with her? I spent some time taking Mew's verbal abuse, but she calmed down eventually. Okay, so we did. I thought I really got out. <laughs> I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Okay, would I like to give her a present? Yes, we shall. All right, let's see. Let's give her this. I don't know, maybe she might like it, like different parts. <laughs> Damn, Poochie, you actually bought me something nice. Okay, good, good. <laughs> All right, I'll show you an invention of mine. I bet you're so thankful you're what? about to cry. Huh? You're not interested? Why? Hey, All right, Puichi, you ready? Huh? huh? Don't look at me like I just blew up a dove with a rocket launcher. I, Mew Iruma, the gorgeous girl genius, am gonna devote my time to you. <laughs> and you'll entertain me in return, right? You'll leave me 100% satisfied, right? Huh? I don't know about huh? that. Huh? Are you saying you invited me without making any plans? You mother- Typical, when men see the heat I'm packing, they get all nervous and stiff. <laughs> 
But since you caught me in a good mood, all right, I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without waiting for my answer, Muse strided towards her lab. So are we are we taking a field trip? Okay. Ah. Ah, here we are, Mu Iruma's research lab. I know that, you brought me here. Booyah! Now, the first invention I'll show you uh, is this. Um, what is this, a listen sensor? Up. Wow, you actually figured out it's a sensor, but can you guess what kind no. of sensor? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. I call this baby the hookup huh? counter. Hookup the counter. Doy. It counts how many people you fucked, or how many have fucked you. She said this is the thought box, okay? She said this is the whole patrol, all right? She got it down pat. <laughs> All right, let me stop. <laughs> uh. Don't point that at me. <laughs> Too late, let's see the results, shall we? <laughs> no fucking way, you kidding me? What did it say, what did it say? Oh, probably said he was a virgin, maybe. Well then. Now, on to the next invention. Mew held out a machine that looked like an arm with a boxing glove on uh, fist. Um. What is this? <laughs> Auto puncher that punches you for telling dirt terrible dirty jokes. Huh? Why is the name so literal? Who cares? Sometimes I'm too lazy to think of names. I'm constantly cranking out new inventions. You can't expect me to name them all. Ah, I mean, burning. do you name each of your little dudes after you blast them into a tissue? Uh, Mew. <laughs> oh, uh. oh? Mew got punched pretty hard. Is she okay? She, she was sudden. Still though, that was a good punch. I guess she's fine. <laughs> all right, sorry to cut your fun short, but I got one more invention to show. Mm. What is it this time? This looks like a ray gun from a science fiction movie. <laughs> this baby will teleport underwater in a flash. It ca I call it the going commando gun. Huh? What? <laughs> Just point this light at a pair of underwear and you can send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool shit, right? Huh? What, you can teleport Out objects? Of my way. Not all objects, just underwear. Just underwear? She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear? <laughs> what do you think? Bow before my formidable talent. I don't know what to say. This is all very odd. What? what? Don't look at me like that with those cold eyes. I just wanted to show this stuff to you. <laughs> oh, did I upset no. her? Uh, no, Um, it's really creative. Really good stuff. Uh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's good that you have so much fun with your inventions. <laughs> you think so? That makes me happy. Yeah, my inventions are. I fucking My know. inventions are awesome without even saying it. <laughs> but even geniuses like to be praised. You seem to understand that pretty well. <laughs> you know, you're pretty all right. I'll treat you real good from now on. <laughs> Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind too hard. <laughs> I love Mew. She's, you'll treat me good. So you're not gonna test anything on me, right? I like Mew. Mew is so fun. <laughs> My brain feeling a bit scrambled, I return to my room. All right, gotta be nighttime. I know we're gonna do our training again. Oh, Monotaro's out cold from being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodam and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to daddy. Is he even here? Oh, he's not gonna say anything. He's, he's, he's still dead. <laughs> That announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it's nighttime. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? Yeah, cause he was acting weird. And now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. So, what's up? But the doorbell's still ringing. I made my way to the door and opened it to find. Who? Oh, Maki. Hmm? Huh? Maki? <sighs> Kaito's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without huh? him. Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys and flake but... out. Well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making an excuse for you're him? You're right. Oh, no, I guess you're yeah. right. Well, let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're going to really do this training. Just the two of us. I like it, though. I like Maki. So I would like this one-on-one -on -one time. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Huh, very silent. Hey, oh? what is it? Why are you training? Hmm. I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably hmm. not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. Uh -huh. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that uh -huh. stuff just fades away. Uh -huh. Do you look up to that idiot? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I call it looking up to him. But he's a friend. It's he's just a that good friend. I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. You know what would be so wrong? Like if we are talking about Kaito this whole time, and he ends up being dead. That would be so wrong. That would be just so, that would be so wrong. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. Hmm. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men <laughs> talk about being manly. <laughs> I like Maki. Maki sprang up and said, Hey. 
100, I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as so usual. Much. I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Okay, so like, I'm guessing that she was raised in a family of assassins. Not that she chose to be an assassin. Because she said she was forced to do it. So maybe that's why she hit it too, because she doesn't, she didn't want to be that. About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. <laughs> I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. Oh, poor baby. Poor... I want to go and hug her. Oh my god. I didn't ask to become this way, it just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because. Aww. But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help but... me. But I'm kind of the same way. Well. I've never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money is the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. Hmm. So what? I didn't actually hear your story. <laughs> she said, look, I didn't actually hear you. Okay, I'm just talking here. <laughs> Maki's face remained un totally unfazed as she turned and walked Maki. away. See you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept All right. walking. All right then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. I hope it's nothing serious. Hmm. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not dead. I hope he's not dead. Oh? Yeah. Oh. Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Hmm. So what's going on? Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at Why? nighttime. Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... Huh? But Kirimi's crime happened during nighttime, right? What? If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well, Limits? So basically you want to take our freedom away? Is that it? My, my. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Uh. <laughs> She's like, look, I don't care. Um, We need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Because that's what Atua says. Right. That's what Atua says. Yeah. That's what Atua yes. says. People are afraid of you, Maki, so we prefer if you're more careful. Mm. It's for the peace of the academy. Aw, Maki don't deserve this. Y'all don't gotta gang up on her. Come on now, stop it. All right, it's the morning. Hopefully Kaito is not dead. I said this last chapter too. <laughs> and you are still lumping. <laughs> so that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this well. at all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. All right. I hope Kaito is still alive. Okay, Kaito's alive, thank God. Woo! The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Oh? Don't screw around. Quit messing around. Don't just do whatever huh? you want. Huh? But I have a tool's blessing. That's right. Yeah, we have a tool's blessing, and I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Hmm. I know you can claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far, no. yes? As we've said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What is going on, y'all? What is going on? Um, Kaito? Um... Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting Damn. about? These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. The manhole? Mm. Gonsa put heavy rocks on top of manhole so that no one could use it anymore. My magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonsa handle it um, this time. Why would you because... do that? Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again like what happened to Kaede. Listen mm. up. You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start Don't fresh. Screw around. Damn it, she just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. What are You're you trying right. to run? A whole, like, dictatorship? Like, what is this? That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear Tua after uh. all. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Janes like her are total rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you. Sumigi, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. That was an insult, Angie. <laughs> that was an insult, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. See, now her motherly ways and holding everybody like this is almost cult leader-ish. Like, this is how she brings them in, you know? This is how she gets them under her control. <laughs> I've been wondering, does 
Does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua oh. has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Okay, if you were explaining or describing that, why don't you just go to Maki? Okay, she has red eyes and black hair. Look at Maki. <laughs> when can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Oh my Atua god. exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Precious! So cool. The tools are so cool. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad but, side. But... but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving. Yeah. You haven't given up? Oh. You haven't given up? Oh. What the hell's wrong with you guys? See. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? Titan, are you calling me Luke? That reminds me. <laughs> you were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you? What? Huh? So what if I was? Oh, so was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey. Shuichi, you too, right? Okay. Yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Because Atua, Atua is so. right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at nighttime. Y'all got me fucked up. If I can't walk around and do what I want, just like y'all can. Y'all got me messed up, please. Huh? What? What I do and where I do it is none of your fucking business. No? No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However. Why is the student council exempt from your rules? This is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. Mm -hmm. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, what? Atua. What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know? <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always Don't be around. stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough. Like hell I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. Right, they, they got us messed up. Lord, Monodam gonna kill us for not working together. Watch. Uh-oh, he's... Are you all fighting? I don't think so. I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy you right bastards. now. We want you to get even closer with each other. That's oh, wonderful. so we brought oh. this a flashback light. It's part of our use of flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by talking about it with each other's yeah. hand. Wow, I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember a plan name that long. Mm -hmm. Ah, let me see that. Oh, don't tell me she's gonna break it. Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and... Angie, you giving me a headache, girl. You giving me a headache. Oh my God. She threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. Uh, 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 right, my dear. Uh, the student this... council has decided uh. that we will not use flashback lights anymore. Oh, so you just decide that for everybody. Wow. What? Why? Right. Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But oh we don't God. need those memories anymore. So you just say we control We realize everyone. now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Okay, Angie, I like you, but you'd have lost your marbles. Oh no, if you don't use the flashback light, our plan is hey. bust. What are we gonna do, Monadam? Shit, who knows? Oh, Monadam, gone. Ah. Hey, he ran away. Monadam, wait. He is out so of long. here, okay? This is not good. <laughs> Bayonara! Wait! Angie, what are you doing? Oh we could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate That's hunt. Not right. There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside right. world. Yeah, it's pointless Always now. Why, around. you? You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too sorry. far. Sorry, but you should take that up with the two oh, Jeez, yeah. I don't think that you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for the you-know-what? Ah. You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? What? I knew it. What are you because. planning? Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. A necessary precaution. Uh, um, what if we got another time limit motive? Like the one that got Rentaro killed? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Bitch, are you trying to, hold on. Are you trying to say that you are trying to set up somebody to be killed? Is that it? Uh, um, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cool plans for someone who wants to stop the killing uh, game. Life cannot always be fun and smiles. Atua must make difficult, even cruel cool decisions. But, 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 we must submit to Atua's will if we're to live a peaceful, yes. cool life. Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Just like Atua says, 
Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and yeah, worse. Yeah. That motive is of no concern to us, as long as you can cast aside your side to escape. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What, what kind of stupid question uh, is that? Um, after discussing the matter with the two, let a transfer student will revive is rental. Who? Oh! You know what? I'm not even mad at that. I'm not even mad at that. I would like to talk to him more because we didn't have enough time with him. So I actually would like to talk to Rantaro more. So y'all, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Y'all got it. Huh? Rantaro. Because... Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murders such as Kaede and Kurumi, nor criminals like Ryoma who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video, which leaves Rantaro as the only one who would be the use to the school student council. True, Rantaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're going to bring him back? Hey, I have a question. This might sound weird, but this is return to Ultimate Hunt and Bell for anyone. Hmm. No, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. Oh, he's dead. Kaede killed him. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going Prayer now. Time. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the uh -huh. ritual. You're right. It's time to pray to handsome well. Atua. Well then, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Anara. Oh my god. Okay. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. Hmm. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out to his will, but this is her will, isn't However. it? However. Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening and hey. Then it's an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice no. and quick. Uh, no. We have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. It looks like he's sick. Like, he might have the Rona. I don't know. Huh? Huh? You say no. something? Uh, someone was zoning out. Uh, are you okay? Kaito, something doesn't seem right. Are you good? Are you good? Um... Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Oh, it's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll, it'll feel better. <laughs> rub spit on what yeah. exactly? Anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not possible. Damn it. No, I can't stop these huh? chills. Huh? My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. I'm going to go back to my room. Oh, poor Kaito. Kaito left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. What is it? What was that about? Is he getting sick? We were just talking about all the occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Hmm. You seem to be enjoying this. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same as Kaede's. Get everyone out of here. And that means I need to do something. Oh, another free time? Okay. All right, let's talk to Mako. Because they've been doing my girl wrong this, this whole episode. Stupid. There's no way you can resurrect That's the dead. That's true. Rentaro definitely died. Kaede and Kurumi died right before our very eyes. Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yes, I should. So what? All right, fine. I don't feel like doing anything particular, so I'll let you decide. I like I like Maki. I could chill with her. All right, Maki and I grew closer today. Would I give her a gift? Yes, but I don't know what to give her. I have no idea. Let's just give her some yogurt. I don't know, man. Let's just give her some yogurt. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so oh, damn. If you don't want it, then I don't mind keeping it. Oh, damn, Maki. Shit, I don't ever know what to give her ass. I, I just want a fragment. Still time left until nighttime. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <laughs> ah. All right, Kibo. Let's spend time with you. I'm just trying to get a fragment. Why? That's it. Do you need something? I'm busy right now. If you can't understand the purpose of the student council, at least try not to get in the way. Oh. Oh, so I can't spend time with you? Okay. Be a bitch then, damn. Y'all, y'all get to the student council and, and be bitchy. Like I don't, I don't get what's going on. What about you? You trying to be a bitch too? Like what's going on? Sorry. Uh huh. The student council's busy. Okay, so everyone in the student council, I can't, I can't be with. Okay, y'all acting like y'all all high and mighty. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna try to spend time with her one more time. One more time. Hey. Is Kaito all right? He complains about others, but he can't even take care of himself. Irresponsible idiot. Okay, let's try it again. Is that so? I was about to go on a walk and get tagged along with one. Hmm. I need to see what she actually likes, man. Okay, we go a little closer. Oh, let's try. I've been trying to get better gifts, man. Maybe she might like this. I don't know. Maybe she might like cufflinks. Hmm. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Okay, thank God. Mm. Sheesh! Hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than well. necessary. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. 
I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. Wouldn't assassination organizations disband after they became known? You're right. That is so true. Much. If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted hey. her gaze. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No, no that's the first I've heard oh, of. Yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no affiliation to any cult. Hmm. A cult? What does this have to do with your assassinations, I though? See. That's the assassination organization I belong to. Oh, so you're in a cult. Huh? You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. I'm, it's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. Right. That sounds made sure, up. Whatever. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for a consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country? Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, well. right? Well, yes, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shady like that is just as proper up for illegal things like assassinations. As society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their God, but they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she's just accepted that's the way things are. Oh, that's kind of robotic. That's kind of sad. Then? Then I assume you're a devotee in this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult. Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true, I suppose she couldn't no. be. There are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We really don't get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't That's... know. So you don't share that kind of information with That's me? That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassin will be cut and disposed of. Oh, her tone changed. She's just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Look, well, you gotta be careful with Maki. You gotta be careful talking to her. <laughs> Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen That's to training. True. I should go to see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. So let's go to Kaito's room. Let's see what's going on with him. Okay, where is Kaito's room? Kaito, 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 Kaito. Where are you? Oh, okay, he's up there. Okay, I wonder if Kaito's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Right as I was about to ring the bell. Oh, the door to Kaito's room opened and out came. Oh, Marcy. Oh. Ah. Oh. Is she mad? What happened? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, well, too. He told me he was going to skip today's training, I knew too. it. So he still doesn't My feel bad. well. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, okay. you know? Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have yeah. to do. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out after nighttime is prohibited, huh? right? Well, I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do I that. I see. Really? Yeah. But I don't want to skip it, so it'll just be the two of us training huh? today. What, what really? Do you, mean? you don't want to? Do you want to die? Do you wanna die? Oh, dying. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such a habit well. existed. Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. Him. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. Oh, Maki, I'll come with you, baby. Uh, oh, maybe um. it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Shuichi, I'm sorry, but can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling okay. better? Of course, Kaito. Hmm, go get better, Kaito. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Hey! Maki, about Kaito, you shouldn't worry about it. He's still feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. Oh? My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice uh, and fire. Um... Maki? But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Oh? Oh? Such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from the glare. Uh, Tenko? I... Uh-oh. You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm not here to fight you, and I don't think you're here to enforce the court for you. What? That's right. That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal uh, favor. Um, a favor from us? Yeah. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um, yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? What is going on? Okay, so what do you want then? What's up? Hey. Tanko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed no. in the Tua. I could never believe in Angie's huh? God. What? Listen up. 
I only believe in Aikido, and as long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a, flexion, a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. So you just pretend to be brainwashed? Why would you hey. do that? It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um. I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's even given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. That's right. The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Mm. And that's why you want me to kill her. Huh? huh? No. Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Oh? Uh Yes. I won't deny that. I wanted her gone ever, even before all of this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in a while. But going through it with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Do you realize who you're talking no. to? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I, I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we get along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But, but the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please. That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Huh? Only us. Yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Mew, or Kyo, and Kaito's not feeling well, That's you know? That's true. I see, you didn't have many uh, options. Okay. Yeah, that please. is true. So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you. Senko bowed down as deep as well. she could. Well then, huh? let's go. Lo what? We didn't even answer uh, yet. Degenerate like a plan and do this for me, you degenerate. I'm even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what would you do, Shuichi? This seems like something you ignore. This is something I ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it is dangerous to go along with my Hey! Degenerate then male! Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Uh, Sneak attack! I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's go convince Angie together. She should be preparing the ultimate ritual right now in the ultimate artist lab. Mother, I'm going too. Of course. I wouldn't ask for just Shuichi for help. I just agreed to help and this is how you treat me? Oh well, I'll just go to Angie's lab. Look, you're a man, okay? She already don't like you ass, okay? All right. All right, it's right here. Just when I reach my hands toward the door. Uh. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked? Uh. Ah, that's right. Angie did say that she locks the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway, just to test it. Oh, I it knew is locked. It. Got a minute? No. <laughs> Maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open the door hey. now. Wait, Maki, you can't do it like that. Stop being little old Miss Impatient. Hey. <laughs> then how should I do it? Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Please. Hmm. Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh, oh Tenko? Yes. Yeah, it's me. After Tinko answered the door, it flew open. Hi, can huh? I help you? Huh? Why is Shuichi and Maki uh, here? Uh, um, oh. oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with the two. I will introduce you to him. So divine. Please come in. No. No, it's not uh, that. Let's go in for now. We can well. talk inside. Well, I suppose. Invited by Angie to step into her lab. But, but what? We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. But what? But what? <gasps> Woo! Oh my god. Four of them? Wait. Huh? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I am starting to think that these are not real. I'm thinking that these are not real and these are wax sculptures because she talked about the wax sculptures earlier and that they're easier to sculpt things. And I noticed that that big stack of sculptures that was behind there before is not there no more. So maybe these are not even real. I'm thinking they're not even real. Let's see, let's see. Kaede and Rentaro cure me in Ryoma? Huh, I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Yeah, see, look, I knew it, I knew it. Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made uh, them? Yep. yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies, of course, why? Of course. Why for the res resurrection ritual? Of course. Uh, um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the come ritual. Come on, come on. So I went ahead and make these. Uh, Sim 
Tesla dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, a tour took possession of me. And before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? Ew. You do such cool things so huh? instantly. Huh? What? what? It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but they don't talk. Hmm. Let's look at Mentaro's. The more I look at it, the more it looks like Mentaro, but actually, it's fake. So do I talk to her again? Like, what the hell? Hey. Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, I don't um, think you understand how bad that might be. Remember how that this was Monokuma's motive? If he wants us to do it, it can't be uh, good. But the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No, no Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes, I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had traces of a soul. Oh man, a soul destined to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Ryoma, Kirimi, Rintaro, and Kaede are okay. dead. I agree, I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I know you have, girl. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery. Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but. Huh? But that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up till now will come back. So if those four really are dead, then a resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> that must be right, because Atua's never wrong. Um, You're not going to stop this, are of you? Course, of course, of course. Of course not. This is Atua's hey. will. This is your will, not Atua's. No? Uh-uh. It's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. Or else we'll get punished, you know. Uh, You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has, Atua spoken. has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of the state. So. Is that so? Then there's no point of talking uh, anymore. Hmm, are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're done slowing me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey. Tanko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Yeah. Okay. Aw, it didn't work. <laughs> After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. It, something bad is gonna happen, man, I know. Yahoo! It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to right, the room. Right. Oh, and uh -oh. it's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? huh? But, but. It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softy, you know? Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Hmm. Yes. yes. What's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why? Uh, why is Shuichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council. It's Himiko. nighttime. Himiko. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change the yeah. world. She betrayed us? That sounds like a big problem, but if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Jeez. Atua. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. She has them under her spell, yo. She, she's the cult leader. She's the whole cult leader now. <laughs> Stop it. You're making me laugh. Enough already. Enough already. Tenko walked toward Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Huh? Himiko! Please snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? That hurts. Let me go. Himiko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? If you can't see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Himiko! Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Oh. Uh, um, Tenko, just leave huh? it be for now. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe I just yelled uh, at you. You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Angie out here looking like a whole villain. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. She out here looking like the ultimate villain right now. She's taking Kokichi's place, all right? <laughs> Bye, Yonara. Sound good? Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Hmm. He would go ahead and look Tenko in the eyes. Oh. See, look, friendships are breaking. Look. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Um... Uh, Tenko, are you okay? I said all those horrible things to Himiko and now I don't know what to do. I said she... I know she never hate me, but she demote me from best friend to just huh? a friend. You guys are best friends. Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we were basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well... Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll right. understand. That's right. We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Well, that was a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. You should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really no. good at it. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Hmm. 
Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. She bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to oh. worry. You were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? <laughs> There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself well, around me. What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading no. Angie? I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another mm. way. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Hmm. Maki hurried back to hmm. her room, so Maki's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that, but I'm glad. Huh. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Hmm. Someone's dead this morning. Somebody gotta be dead. And he's still- why we keep showing him? He's still dead. He's still not saying nothing. Oh? Who's at the huh? The intercom? This early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Oh, no, Maki's starting to be my friend uh, now. What's with that face? You look like you just woke uh, up. I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. Ew. You woke up to that? If you rely on the announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Okay. Well, I suppose that's true. Right. It's fine. Let's just stop the ritual. Huh? Kaito? Okay. I heard from Maki roll. It seems like Angie's gonna do the Maki roll. What? Don't give me such a weird nickname. Oh. You brought Kaito here? Huh? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But, but Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> huh, we don't have time to be worrying about me. We gotta split a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic or else I'm gonna last. I'm not gonna last. <laughs> not gonna last. Kaito, are you um, scared? Uh, huh? No. It's just that I remember that you said you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because. Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since we started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid. There's no uh, way. Um, so I was right. Minute. Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you're scared? So... It's not that I'm scared. It's just, just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? Since I was a kid, whenever I heard them, I start to feel sick. Kaito was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Mm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Yeah. Oh? Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just stop. go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki um. Roll. Anyway, let's go on to Angie's lab. That's a cute little nickname, Maki Roll. You're my little Maki Roll. <laughs> okay, let's go to her room. Hmm? You guys Why? again? Why are you here? Why are you keeping watch this whole time? I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So, what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie okay. again. Yeah, because the ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, sure. okay? Whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't let open the door for anyone but members of the student council, and... right? So tell Angie to open it for us. Mm -hmm. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Mm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Huh? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm. She should be inside. Both this door and the back one are huh? locked. Both our doors are locked. Hmm. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Hmm. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside, which means there's definitely someone hey. in there. Any response? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Himiko. Himiko, we need to get inside right mm -hmm. now. Why? Uh, but you know, even if you wanted to check, it's locked, so we can't do... I see. Oh, I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are about what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything. Ew. Where did you come from? A little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kokichi's oh. trick. Oh, the lock picking. Uh. Oh, lock hey. picking? During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this lab door open? Mm -hmm. You want me to pick open this door, huh? Hmm, let me see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Oh. oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um. Yes, please, Kokichi, open the lock. Ew. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to yeah. Angie. Don't worry about that, Kokichi. Hurry up and open the door. My bad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. <laughs> Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Hmm. See? There. Open says me. That's simple. <laughs> not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, no. you know? 
Lockpicking seems more suited to petty You teams. got me. That cuts real deep. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried no. about Angie. Yeah, you're right. Somebody gonna be dead in there. Somebody gonna be dead. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the doorknob, pushed open the door, and saw somebody dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! be dead I didn't think that she was gonna be dead dead oh my god oh my god oh this wow an official announcement a body has been discovered everyone please assemble at the ultimate <laughs> art lab ah she puked again it's green this time one of Finney's green puke is said to be an omen of bad luck and disaster what on earth is about to happen I can't believe that she's dead all right, y'all. Well, that is the end of today's episode. I really didn't think that Angie would die. I Like, I thought it would be too obvious of her dying in that room because it's her room and she wasn't answering the door. Like, I didn't think that she would be dead. Or I guess I should have because it was so obvious. I don't know. But now, <laughs> it, there's, there's four hanging sculptures of students that we have seen before and one dead Angie in the middle. I don't know if Angie committed suicide or died trying to do the ritual. But I don't know if this is like another thing like with Sakura, like with Sakura committed suicide, it might be the same thing like with, like with Angie committing suicide, maybe. That's what I'm thinking for now, based on what I see, maybe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll be back with another episode of Dang and Rompa V3 Killing Harmony, baby. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later and this.